Hello and welcome back. My name is Solos and this is another Sky Wanderers video. So it's been quite a while since the last video once again. I'm very sorry about that and as you might be able to tell from my voice if you've been watching the series is that I sort of lost my voice and I've only just really gotten it back. Like I haven't been able to speak at all in days. It's been pretty awful. And only now have I just sort of got it back enough to talk. And I really wanted to show you what I've been working on just because it's been a while and I think it's going quite well and I think you would enjoy what I've been doing. So you can probably already see some of the stuff I've been doing. And from out here, I've never actually seen it from out here, but it actually looks pretty good. I never realized how the orange lighting and the uh, sort of hatches on the wall would look, but it's looking pretty good. So I'm um, unfortunately moving on to the topic of the turbo cubes and turbo tubes, which I would like to be running the transport system of the station, is that it may not work at all because of the way that the docking system works. So we're just going to have to wait until the actual docking system evolves a little bit more because the way things will need to be is I need to have the docking probe on here but I can't have it there. Or I need to be able to activate the docking system from this cube here or have the docking probe on there or there's just so many different solutions that are that are available but are unavailable due to not being implemented in the game. Now I brought this up with the developer but unfortunately the way he's got the docking system is how it will be for now so it's not going to change. So until he reworks the uh, docking system like he says he will then we're just going to have to wait and see for that. But moving on further into the actual station. So, just coming down into here, through the glass. I'll just try and start up here and then work my way down, but basically, you've got the uh, corridor here, which I've sort of worked on a little bit, which comes on down to here, which I will show you further in a moment. This is like a docking area for cargo. And then moving on here, um, we've got these pillars which have changed just a little bit. I'm not sure if they're the same as the last time but as you can see they're probably a little bit different just with the uh, strips on them now but the biggest change would be the colour system in here and the way the uh, buildings are looking. So I'm quite fond of how this has turned out with the windows, the uh, black strips and the colours and just overall everything about this area and then as you come in here you can see this will be like a shopping center of sorts, just multiple floors of shopping and cargo room up the top where there's no windows, so that way it sort of makes a bit of sense for where the cargo is stored. Um, just coming back out here though, we've got the entrance which will have neon signs and all that on it. And we'll have uh, big sort of billboards on this area here. But right here at the top we're going to have glass bridges connecting here to here. That's just a suggestion I received from a friend as to how I could break up this design a little bit. And I'm quite fond of that idea, so I think I'll be uh, implementing that sometime soon. Um, just some more buildings here, which I've sort of started working on. I haven't done too much in this area because I've been working on another area as well, but as you can see, just there's been a little bit of work here. I wasn't sure about the colours initially, but they're sort of growing on me, so I'm just going to have to keep these colours as they are for now, unless you've got some better color solutions and ideas. But for the moment, I think the dark gray with the uh, browny red color, according to the game, this is brown, but according to me, it looks a bit reddy orangey. But um, that's just the way it is. Now we've got some fountains there for a little bit of decoration. Um, still got the underflowing lighting, glassing stuff there. Nothing too much has really happened on these columns or aisles or whatever. But there has been a little bit of work on these ones here, which I'll show you soon. But coming in here, we've got now a... Uh, I'm, not whether, I'm not sure whether or not to have this as a high-class restaurant, which will be having windows overviewing this area here, or if I make that an observatory area, 
looking out on the top of the dome outside. But we will see how it goes. And um, if you've got a preference for that, like a uh, high-class dining restaurant area or observatory that you gain access to from these glass tubes here, then um, just give me a suggestion and I'll see which suggestions I get the most of and we'll try implementing that. Um, we've got some plants and stuff. Nothing too much has really happened, but I'll just sort of take a step back so you can have a look at it all. Nothing too much happening here. It's probably a little bit considering it's been a while since the video, but I think you get the idea. Sorry, sorry about all the clipping there, but so this is the sort of dining area at the moment. There's a bit of glass flooring, and then it will probably expand into this area here, which you can't really see too well, but this is where the glass tubes come out. They'll come out above these restaurants here. These here will go through, there will be tubes going out through this corner wall here, into this corner wall here, which will be like cargo space and just overall transport between the two buildings if you're in the top floor sections. So um, I did a little bit of work with the ceiling, so there's now an extra block layer on the ceiling. So I can now paint this interior ceiling without affecting the outside. And vice versa, I can paint the outside and not affect the inside here. Um, I did a bit of smoothing with all the edges and curves and such. I've tried to do that as much as I can. As you can see, this is actually all triangle, so this was originally block for block, like... um. So it was like that the whole way across, but then smoothed it out a little bit. And I'm quite happy with the way this smoothing worked out. Um, in my opinion, it looks quite good, but I would love to hear your advice and opinions and suggestions. But um, we'll just move on out of this main concourse, or the grand concourse, I don't know, one of those. And we will come down here. So, as you may remember, this is the... Um, elevator corridor so going into the oop, oops sorry about that moving into the elevator area where people will take an elevator or lift or whatever it is down to the respective floor that they want and in future these could be turbo tube entrances but we don't quite know um, this will be the information room as you might remember and then coming down here this sort of connects onto the cargo room but we'll just come back out here and we'll go the other way in so, just um, clarification, each one of these panels has the potential to be changed into a doorway like this or like this. So that way, you can sort of have like the option to add a shop front or a building or just some sort of room off to the side without having too much whole renovation happening. So, for instance, say this one here, I'm going to be changing over to a... Um, like a machinery shop so you just walk along here oh, I've got lifts here on the left if I keep on going I've got the machinery shop I come in here I can put in an order for some machining to get done on some metal parts for my spaceship or I can order some other metal parts or whatever it's just sort of like different shops along here and these ones will be larger shops and different class of shops compared to these ones here these will be more recreational and um, food, just general people shops. These will be the shops for the people who have docked in the ship in the hangar bays below and they want to buy some stuff for their crew and their ship and just in general stuff that they need to survive. So this will be like essentials. This will just be have a good time, you're on the space station, hope you enjoy your stay sort of stuff. So moving into here, you got this main entrance here and then this will be a sort of sliding door. I haven't really decided on the door style yet, but I'll sort of just come in here. This is areas for storage containers and storage pallets. So just sort of remember that this is a 5x5 five five storage pallet area, and then you've got this sort of runway here. So there will be rails away all the way along this here, but we'll just sort of come along here. So it's pretty long. I think it's about 100 meters or something. Um, oops, I haven't actually finished this one here. We'll just go to the one that I've actually finished and worked on. So not that one. Must be on the other side, sorry. We'll just speed on over there. Oops, slow down a little bit. So from memory, it should be this side here. 
Yep, I think this is it here. So this is the, um, I've only really worked on one side of this because child entities like this don't get mirrored over. Basically, there's this big platform here. It's about a five by five or six by six or so. And you can put your storage pallet container there, or whatever. And you can put it on here as well. So this is like one storage area here. And then if you need to transfer it down the other end for easier use for um, the shop goods, then you put it on here and then you move it all the way down there and you can store some down in that room off the side there. It's extremely slow. That's why I haven't really used it yet. But basically you'd put a large amount of stock and um, just general goods that need to go to the shops out there from the cargo bay down here. And you put it on here and then you'd slide along etc. Um, this here is just a maintenance panel for the controls for there but there will be more stuff in there later so it won't just be pointless. So this is the lift for general people and then this is the cargo lift. So um, I would call the cargo lift up but it will take forever. So moving on further just the um, cargo lift so this is where you'd have the pallets to go there and there and then on there you'd be able to fit about four of those on here that's the scale that I've designed this stuff on so this is just a really big elevator now I can't remember if this is already on its way up no it's not okay I'll just so just so you can see what it would be like coming down here but you wouldn't be able to see through here this is just temporary you can see the main hanger there and then you can see the side hangers here and here and then coming down here, you would be looking into the cargo bay. Now this is where I've been spending a lot of my time working recently. So you've got the personnel lift here, which can take individual people up and down. And this one here is for the big cargo lifts and all the cargo that you'd get in on these shipping containers. So just so you get a look around, this is the cargo room of the space station so you'd have cargo ships flying from this big room here or even those side rooms here that fly on down and if they're small enough they can come in through these doors here this is like a runway for some bigger ships and this is more of a landing pad here so just sort of coming back into the corner so you can have a look around think of this wall here as a wall for storing shipping containers as you would find on a ship or other spaces just um modern day shipping containers really so this is a shipping container in here I've got two of them docked but I'll just want another one in so you can have a look at them so it's called a black standard shipping container I've got two different models but they're both the same thing we'll just stand, spawn in the standard one here and as you can see here it is pretty standard and I'm pretty happy with the design of it it's got my own style to it it's just its own thing really so it's got a docking port on the back for storage on the actual ships that it's coming and arrived in and then you've got these two docking ports here for docking with one of these shipping container moving ships so pressing a button wait a moment and then the door will open up and then slide in for compact hiding away and as you can see here you can fit three storage pallets of a 5x5 five five size comfortably in this room here and it's pretty neat overall these can be fitted to have whatever you need in them and they can have three storage pallets which you can fit four of upstairs in the stock storage area we could fit these to have a prison cell at the back or you can fit them to have just overall storage units on the sides and walls in here I'm going to have lots of different designs, one's for food, one's for prison transport, prisoner transport, sorry, um, just general stock transport. There will be lots of different designs and I'm hoping to have just a few different colours and different things just all lined up in here. So you can fit 15 along each row, so what's that, 45 and 90? So you can fit 90 of these shipping containers comfortably in here. And later, once I get the middle section done, there will probably be even more storage for these shipping containers here. Now, I could have keep on, kept on going up further. I could have had, like, what's that? One, two, three, four, 
Actually, you can fit four of these, four shipping containers in a row. So what's that? 60, 120. You can fit 120 shipping containers, sorry, once this is finished. And I could have kept on going up further, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or whatever. I could fit, like, I don't know what, 500 or so. Just, you could fit heaps and heaps of shipping containers in this area. But I decided instead of doing that, I wanted somewhere to store these shipping container handling ships. So I'm pretty happy with how these turned out as well, just sort of show these off a little bit. We got the um, sort of magnetic holding locks, as I call them. Which um, basically that's just an item, um, item stand of sorts. And it looks pretty cool if you colour them the right way and then you put them in use and lots of people have been using them recently for their builds. And I also used it just in here in the actual engine room. So think of this as like the power cell. And in my opinion that just looks so cool. It looks really cool just if you have the item stand and then these are just light rods on the actual item stands. And then I've put like a glass enclosure over it. And then I've got these um, the power generator here, which goes into just up here. And then I've, this is like an energy transfer. So going from the regular power generator, transferring into levitating magnetic energy of sorts. I don't know, just a bit of sci-fi stuff here. But and then it comes back out here and it plugs into here. And then you've got two different light rods intermingling with each other. And it's just sort of really cool. And then you've got these um, glowing rods, which go down here either side of the ship just here to here this side isn't the same as this side this is more of the power generator side this is more of the ship core and um just in here you got the uh, a little bit of logic and then down here you got the actual engines and then up here you've just got some more of the item stands for just in general good looks so this ship isn't done yet, there will be a back ramp where you can just open the door, you can walk in. And there will be more detailing inside. This was just a st standard sort of um, ship design I've made so far. So I just wanted to make sure I got everything working properly and then make the changes as I go along really. So I've been developing this thing as I go every day that I use it. And there's just been a little bit of development. But um... Just as I developed the shipping container storage area, just um, sort of comes along nicely. But uh, I'll just sort of show you, this is what it'll be like when they're actually docked. So, sorry about the really bright light. The um, lighting system got revamped recently, and these lights are just really, really bright. But if I just flick this switch here, uh, ladders will, or stairs will pop out of the ground, and then you can easily walk in and out get stock in and off out of the shipping containers and then if you need to close up it sort of does it itself it's um it's pretty straightforward and I'm really just loving the way that works so I've sort of got a glass enclosure on these and you'll sort of see how all this works I'll just show you how actually taking the shipping containers out in and out works so you do this you press one switch and that extends the shipping container out and then to release the shipping container, you press that switch there. Now it's released from the actual wall. I can pull that one back in, like so. I'm just got a screen there. Bit of a nice room in here. So as you can see there, that there goes up to that there. And we'll just come out here and then I'll drive this ship here. And we'll latch onto that and then we'll move it into another slot just to, for demonstration. So we'll um, go into this view, go into standard mode, just reverse up a little bit, go to the side. So it will take a little bit of practice for anyone doing this job of sorts, but after a little bit of practice, like I've only just really started doing it and I'm already getting pretty good at just doing it. But that being said, I will screw up. So you can go into this view here to line up your clamp, which I'm pretty happy with. I'm 
there, that's that. And then this door here, the reason why there's a door here is because the way the docking system works at the moment, you need to interact between the ship and the shipping container. So then you press this button here, which will link this side here up, and if you need to link this side here up, then you press that one there. It's fairly straightforward. So now that's linked there, and we can come in here. Now you're probably thinking, right, so cool, you know, link to a shipping container, I can now pull it out, etc. But then I'm driving around a vehicle that is way too big for this area. If there's a ship behind me, I'm just going to crash into it. So, for that, we have a simple shipping container moving system. We can simply tuck it in like that. And now we've got plenty of room. We don't have to go backwards any further. We can go up or to the side or whatever we need to do. We'll just go to the side now and we'll plug into this slot just to the left. So we'll come here. Now I haven't actually extended that arm at the back yet. But we'll go forward some more. So it's a bit tedious for um, lining it up, but I've tried to make that easy with plenty of cameras on this thing. And with the extension, I can just extend that in there like that. Now, I don't think I actually built the um, docking mechanism correct on this one here, but hopefully it is good enough. So we'll just um, pop out here. So that should be pretty close. And if we extend this here, it should just be a matter of raising it just a little bit, and then we'll disconnect from the shipping container. So just a little bit too much raising perhaps, but we will disconnect here, oops bit of a clunky mess that was. Can we reconnect? Okay, now I've gone on about how good I am at doing this, but being that the game is still in early alpha, things like this will happen. Now it seems that I'm just clipping through everything, so that is unfortunate. Luckily, my ship hasn't just gone spinning out of control like it occasionally does. If we're lucky, we can still connect it. No, that's nowhere near aligned. See, um, there, there are a few issues. Now, I haven't actually had an issue like this at all yet, but as you can see, I've docked that one, I've docked this one before, I've docked that one there many times actually, but things will happen as the game is still early alpha, and if you bump into something just a little bit, things will go flying around. But, um, sort of moving on to where these uh, shipping container handling ships are docked. So I've got one which is orange and white for the people who don't like the, uh, all sort of grey look but that's the first one I designed so I designed it and it was a bit dark and menacing but I thought you're on a ship you know you don't want to be scaring off all the people you're taking cargo from might as well make a friendlier happier looking version which is this one here it's um it's friendlier and happier I guess as I say that with such a sad tone in my voice because I'm having trouble speaking anyway that's just a sort of ramp there. You can just lift that up. And you can dock the um, ships just here and here. Just got a little bit of a lip there, which I've left just so that way people know what they're walking into. But um, this area still isn't developed properly. It's it's still getting worked on. As you can see here, I've got a ship here. I can just walk along this um, safety ramp here. Come along here. Eventually there will be a ramp because there will be a proper back to the ship. 
basically it will just walk up into here. I will disconnect from here. And because today is just not my day, everything is just really buggering itself up. Like, like what the hell? Come on. It's because it's I'm doing a video. That's all it is. The game knows I'm doing a video. And it wants to mess with me. This is what happens when you bump into stuff. And you were docked. The ship just loses all orientation, just drifts itself around like crazy. And this is the first time I've ever actually seen it stop. So, remember, early access game, pre-alpha, like this isn't early access yet, so pre-alpha, just overall stuff isn't going to work all the time. And sometimes at all, as you can see down there, shipping container, this, some things just don't work at all. Um, anyway, this will be like the maintenance room for the uh, shipping container handling ships. And they can also bring the shipping containers down here with them if they need to. That way, they can um, work on the shipping containers if they're damaged as well. So, basically, there will be big hangar doors on top of this area here, which will open and close. And you can just bring stuff in and everything will be secure and tied down and... You know, it will be good. But basically, just to move on, this entire space station, there is so much that needs to go into it. Like, ridiculous amounts of stuff. So we'll just pick up speed a little bit. And, oh my god, what just happened here? I'm getting teleported around now. Anyway. Well, there's that ship. It just came out here with me. Anyway. Big space station. So much stuff. If I were to stop getting teleported, I would continue to show you what I'm talking about. Ugh. If I don't move, hopefully I won't get teleported. Big space station, it's lots of stuff. So people living in this area here, that's like the one area that's been filled up. Big space hangar right here in the middle. VTOL landing pads here and here and here. Um, smaller hangars here and here. Big cargo area here. The other half of this sort of hangar pod area. This will have everything else. So I sort of made a list of stuff, which I'll just sort of run through now. Basically, stuff that I need to have in the space station, which I think would be essential. So you need stuff like hospitals and farms, the uh, reactor core room, the bridge, because this space station will be able to move, hopefully, like a um, regular ship. Um, you need living areas, you need the prison areas, you need the... Um, bars, casinos, restaurants, and motels for guests to stay in. You need the mess hall for the station staff members, and then you need some what someone suggested in the comments of a video, that you need an area not just for the high class people, but for the people who live on the station. They're not going to want to go up to the uh, top floor and the great meeting area for all the people coming in on ships. Some of them will, they'll meet people who have just come in off a ship and they'll meet with their friends, etc. But most of them, they're working here. They're earning money for their families elsewhere. They're going to be living on this station. They want to go to their favourite station bar or just their little restaurant down the scummy area. It's scummy because it's cheaper. And so they're not spending all their money in the high-class restaurants and stuff up here. They're going to be going down to the slum areas, which you won't even know exist on the station. So that's just something that I think makes sense and I like the idea of it. There will be turbo tubes and turbo lifts, there will be escape pods all down the bottom with the uh, galactic center area of sorts. Um, so for the reactor control room there's actually been a lot of talk from the developer as to what that will be like. Um, he's developing the power system at the moment. So at the moment we've only got a, I'll just sort of show to you. We've got this power core here. So it produces 100 gigawatts, I presume, of energy. And uh, average engine uses minus 10. And in fact, I think that's the only thing that uses power. Yeah, that's probably it that uses power. So literally everything else doesn't have power usage at the moment. But for the general idea, 
power system is being worked now, he would like to get it done before Christmas time. So hopefully we'll get an implementation of that. But from the general idea of things, there's going to be different tiers. So there'll be stuff like the coal generator. Just general ideas I'm throwing out there at the moment. Coal generator and then um, fission reactor like a nuclear reactor. Then fusion reactor and then maybe something else like a void reactor I think he called it. My suggestions were to start off with hydrogen reactors or hydrogen generators because hydrogen in space is abundant. And then moving on would be fission, then fusion, and then you could move on to something like antimatter maybe. But um, I would move on to a singularity generator, which is just a personal sci-fi preference. But basically I'll just start designing that soon. It's going to be a big sort of sphere room with a um, singularity in the middle. But um, we'll see how that goes. But basically... One thing that's sort of stumped building a little bit at the moment, despite the fact I'm still working on everything, I've been told by the developer that my station is just too big. That if I want to continue working on it, it will break the game at some point. If I start working more and more into the little details with the lights and other details, like I have been in the cargo area here, I am going to break the game. So it's sort of a matter of me literally continuing this build purely for the purpose of development uses and if I can manage to finish it then awesome. But chances are as far as I can tell and as far as the developer can tell because he's done the math behind it, it's going to kill my computer or kill the game first. Something's going to break and the station won't get complete. But I will keep on working on it, but for the most part, I'm probably going to be working on smaller projects on the side first, such as, you know, perfecting stuff like shipping containers, cargo ships, the, um, the Celestian command ship, just sort of finishing that, um, getting lasers, landing gear and all that finished, just doing everything. I swear, that ship is just following me everywhere. I can't understand it. Bit of a broken game, you get the idea. Um, so basically, thank you for watching. Sorry that I'm such an issue to talk to. My voice is killing me, and it could be a little while before the next video, just because I have to start work on a new project on the side of this project here. Presuming I can fix this problem first. Anyway. Thank you for watching, hope everyone is having a very good December as the build up to Christmas starts and I will see you before Christmas again for sure, don't worry. I will see you in the next video though, so thank you for watching.